this is the primary bit rig that we would use for uh, what I would call a more finished horse, a horse that has had proper schooling, has been through the half breed bridle, has been through the snaffle, ring bridle, direct rein, and then we're gonna transition him to riding one-handed and two-handed. But this bit right here is one like I showed you earlier with the side rings on it here. It's about where we would end up with a horse, I would say, most of the time. Um, smooth leather curb. Okay. I want to adjust this curb under his jaw where I can get two fingers between his jaw and that curb. I want this bit to travel two thirds of its sweep until that curb engages itself. So the first two thirds of this contact signal, I want it to be in the corners of his mouth and his tongue, what he's working off of. And then the last third, that curb is gonna engage and you're gonna work off the bars of his jaw, the jawbone, okay? And if you'll notice, this is a one ear and it has eight foot, two piece leather rings. And then we've got a piece of leather there to hold the reins together to where your reins won't get twisted, okay? Now this particular one, you can see these little loops right here. We've got it set up where we can hook a German martingale through this ring to there, and we can ride him in a German martingale effect too. And that's a video for another day, okay? So this would be a, hor this would be a horse that you have suppled and prepared and schooled and is ready to be ridden in a rig like this. So you gotta use the other rigs first and really have that horse where he's flexing his jaw and he's supple and he's very responsive to your signal and he doesn't have any resistance in him that uh, he's responding to you out of willingness and obedience, okay, before you use this. And that, that's how I recommend to transition a horse and that's how we do it day after day after day and uh, I've yet to experience it not working.